What up, guys? Okay, so obviously today's vlog is a little late, but I decided to post it anyway, uh, or record something anyway for you guys. It's about 5.30 p.m. right now. Um, been pretty busy all day. Uh, seems to have gotten pretty good reception over the last couple of vlogs. There are longer ones, kind of more in depth about like stuff I've done. I'm trying to remember some of the comments suggesting uh, things, more things I can talk about. The only one that's sticking out to me right now regards tutorials. Like, sorry, you might recognize where I am if you've seen like every single one of Freddy's videos. In fact, let's walk up here. This is where we shot uh, the light bulb assassin splinter cell video. Where that light bulb up there shot it down. It was so close. Like it literally, I felt the wind of the glass coming right over my nose. Just like, shoo. Jake, what's up? Hey, look, it's Jake. What's up, Jake? He, yeah. I'm doing a vlog. Oh. He's like, oh, those things. I don't deal with those things. <laughs> so where was I? Uh, kind of got derailed there. Um, I think he's just grabbing an energy drink. So the thing about tutorials is you don't want to copy a tutorial ever. And I, I, I've copied tutorials before. I've done that. Everyone's done that at some point. But don't do it. My point is that you never want to copy something. When you watch a tutorial, there's a point to the tutorial. It's teaching you an effect. But on, this, on the surface, it looks like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make this person burst into flames. Oh, that's a cool tutorial. I'm going to learn how to do that. And then you do it, and it's like everyone sees it, it's like, yeah, I know exactly what you watched to do that. That's not a big deal. Um, literally, everyone, anytime you ever see another video and you can see that it was from a tutorial, they're going to be like, ah. And I cannot tell you how many demo reels I've seen that have had, oh, like, effects on it that were ripped straight from a tutorial, and that's in their demo reel. And it's like, you don't want to do that. You want to create original stuff. The, the idea behind watching a tutorial is you look at the methods. Which tools did they use? Which plan of attack did they use? It's the same as, like, say, you're uh, learning how to write an essay, for instance. You read this great uh, book on how to write an essay. And there's an example essay on like, all these different points you want to hit. And then you pretty much hit all those same points. You have pretty much the exact same essay as the example essay. And what do people think of that? They think it's a crappy essay because you basically ripped the original one. It's the same thing for tutorial. You want to take what you learn and apply it to different things. For instance, in the dual video that I shot three years ago, this is one where uh, my sister and I are standing off, that technically is pretty much straight from a tutorial, but it's at least in an original context. Like, yes, I still explode in a big goop of blood, and that's pretty much like step by step straight from the tutorial, but at least it was in a new setting. At least it was uh, executed differently than just like, oh, a lightning strike from the sky. I guess it was still a lightning strike, but I'm trying to get my thoughts on this. Yeah, so watch tutorials. Tutorials are great. I watch tons of tutorials even today. I mean, I don't watch any more After Effects tutorials. I yeah, I literally don't watch After Effects tutorials anymore. Even Andrew Kramer's stuff, I haven't watched for like a year, to be honest. Um, maybe not a year. I, I watch every now and then just to see what he has. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. You don't want to copy. You want to reinvent. Learn and understand. Understanding is way more powerful than knowledge. You want to understand why you use a certain effect, why you would do this. Once you get that, then you can reproduce it for other means. For instance, in freelance work, you're never doing your own thing. You're always following instructions from someone else that they've given you. They're like, oh, I want to put like, I want to decapitate the zombie and have the zombie head flying away. And you're like, I know how to do that because you have watched a couple other tutorials of things like maybe you had to mask around a certain thing and then resize it and remove it and add some blood splatter. Completely different scenario, but the same methods exist for this thing. So that's how you go like, oh yeah, I can do that. I can apply those methods to this idea. 
And the more you can do that, the quicker you'll get better because whenever you're copying tutorial, you're not learning. You're literally following step by step how to do something. And then you're looking back at it going, how did I do that? I have no idea how I did that. But if you learned it and you understood it, it's like learning a language. You gotta apply it on your own terms. You gotta take it and make something and figure it out on your own without having something to go look at. That's where you grow the most. That's where you get the most build in uh, skill sets. So, I mean, I, yeah. I guess that's the main thing to take away from that. Don't copy tutorials. Watch tutorials, though. Um, if, if it is something that you're like, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I'm just gonna copy the tutorial, that's fine. But just understand, ever, don't use that as a representation of your skills. That's what it comes down to. It's tacky. Apply it in something original, and that'll be cool. Okay, that's, that's all for today. I'm gonna upload this now, and yeah. All right, and I will see you later.